Compost is often treated like a magic ingredient. Add it to the bed, mix it in, and expect instant fertility. When results fall short, gardeners assume they need more compost, better compost, or a different recipe. But the uncomfortable truth is this. Compost doesn't fail because it's bad. It fails because most gardens aren't biologically ready to use it. Compost is only as effective as the living system it enters, and in many gardens that system has quietly broken down. Compost is not fertilizer, but it is often used like one. One of the biggest reasons compost fails is misunderstanding its role. Compost is not designed to force growth. It's meant to support biology. When compost is applied expecting immediate results, disappointment follows. Nutrients in compost are largely tied up in organic forms that require microbial processing. If microbial populations are weak or unbalanced, Compost simply sits there, dark and promising, but underutilized. Dead or disrupted soil cannot digest compost properly. Healthy soil acts like a digestive system. Bacteria, fungi, protozoa and worms break compost down into plant-available forms. In soils that have been compacted, disturbed or chemically stressed, this digestion doesn't happen efficiently. Compost added to such soil may improve appearance, but not performance. Plants remain hungry because the biological workforce needed to unlock compost nutrients is missing. Too much compost at once creates biological overload. Another common mistake is applying compost too thickly or too frequently. While compost seems gentle, heavy layers can overwhelm soil biology. Oxygen is consumed rapidly as microbes attempt to break down large amounts of organic matter. This creates anaerobic conditions that suppress beneficial organisms. Instead of improving soil, compost can temporarily stall plant growth and reduce microbial diversity. Compost without carbon balance creates nutrient confusion. Compost is often rich in nitrogen relative to available carbon sources in the soil. When added repeatedly without additional carbon inputs like mulch, leaf litter or woody material, nutrient cycling becomes erratic. Microbes consume nitrogen rapidly, causing fluctuations in availability. Plants experience growth spurts followed by stagnation. Compost appears inconsistent because the soil system lacks balance. Modern gardening practices interrupt compost integration. Frequent tilling, digging and soil turning disrupt the very networks compost relies on. Fungal hyphae that transport nutrients are severed. Bacterial colonies are scattered. Compost is mixed into soil that cannot maintain structure long enough for integration to occur. Compost works best when soil is left relatively undisturbed, allowing biological relationships to stabilise. Compost requires moisture to activate microbial processes. Dry soil halts decomposition and nutrient release, while oversaturated soil limits oxygen, slowing aerobic breakdown. You know, many gardens swing between these extremes. Often compost is blamed when the real issue is inconsistent moisture that prevents microbes from functioning properly. Compost quality is often misunderstood. Not all compost is biologically active by the time it reaches the garden. Overcured or heavily processed compost may be stable but biologically quiet. It improves texture but contributes little microbial activity. Gardeners expecting biological benefits from such compost may see little change. Compost quality matters but even high quality compost struggles in soils that lack biological support. The real fix is building soil that can use compost. The solution is not abandoning compost, but changing how it's used. Compost should be treated as a biological inoculant, not a primary feed. Small amounts applied regularly work better than large seasonal applications. Compost performs best when paired with surface mulch that feeds microbes slowly and consistently. Leaving roots in the soil after harvest provides ongoing carbon below ground. Avoiding unnecessary disturbance allows microbial networks to mature. 
Maintaining steady moisture creates conditions where compost nutrients are released gradually and efficiently. Compost works when uh, biology comes first. Compost really succeeds when soil life is already active or, you know, when compost is used to gently rebuild that life. Feeding microbes through root, exudates, organic mulches and just minimal intervention creates this environment where compost becomes powerful. In these systems, compost doesn't disappear because it's wasted. It disappears because it's being consumed, transformed and used. So, what are the signs compost is finally working? Well, when compost begins to function properly, soil changes subtly. It smells earthy, not sour. Water infiltrates evenly. Plant growth becomes steady rather than explosive. Nutrient deficiencies decrease even without additional inputs, and pest and disease pressure eases as plants strengthen from within. Compost is a tool, not a solution. Honestly, the biggest shift gardeners can make is moving away from product thinking. Compost is not a cure-all, it's part of a system when used with respect for biology, structure and time. Compost performs beautifully, but when it's used as a shortcut, it disappoints. Once gardens are managed for life rather than appearance, compost stops failing. It becomes what it was always meant to be, a quiet supporter of a living soil system that feeds plants naturally, season after season.